And we're back. Uh, we have all of the uh, blood and plunder laid out for you, and Devin's going to go over the. We'll go left to right, I guess. Sure. Over the factions here. Who are we working as? The Spanish group here. So we've got quite a few marineros. All different little. There's like repeats of the sculpts. They don't have like. Yeah. All the ranges out yet, but get the gist of it. They're all beautifully done. Some lanceros. Some Milcianos. I'm going to murder all these names as we go along. Uh, I, okay. Each, yeah, uh, cool. each little list has their own little card that their own rules and details. You know, point values for models, what you need on your D8s from your fighting uh, and stuff. On the D10s? And then they all, some, or not all, some come with certain rules. Right. These guys happen to be poorly equipped. I do not know what that means. We will find out. Kind of like improvised weaponry? Yeah, well it's actually right there, there it is. Oh. So if this unit is activated by a club, it gains one additional reload marker, so small arms are artillery if it gains any during that activation. Right, explain the, uh, my favorite part, well not my favorite, my one of my favorite, explain that, uh, the, the club, the deck. So each faction has their own deck of cards. It's just a 52 deck of cards basically. Playing cards, which is crazy. But each one has different actions for different uh, levels of troops. So right. inexperienced troops activated with this card would have two actions. If they were trained, they would have three. Sorry about that. Veterans notes. would have three as well. Cool. And the suits play against each other. Uh, I can't. I I don't know for sure what trumps what yet. Right. So we'll have to wait and see. I would guess an ace is. I think ace you know, the best is one. the highest. So you can actually play this oh, game. Oh, no. Looks like aces are low. Oh, they they went with a low. Yeah. Okay. So That's your kings are kings. That's a thing. It makes me wonder how, you know, what games in the past they played on the ships. and. Yeah. Oh, right. The the um, time frame, the historic time frame is 1655 in this, yeah. this game. So we're playing Infinity. We're going backwards quite a bit. Yeah. It's fun. Infinity to Buccaneers. Buccaneers. So, All right, English. The English group here. Um, we got our Sea Dogs, our Forlorn Hope, and our Freebooters. Our multiple different English captains, represented by that model there. And then we have Henry Morgan's card, and for some reason I have some extra scopes of him, some alternative so there scopes. Are three different. That's cool. Three different Morgans. Yeah. I think it's just two, and this is oh, right. a copy of this. There's a double. Which is fine. I like that. That's great. And they're dice, and they're on deck of cards. You could paint one in evening attire. That's right. <laughs> Henry Morgan pajamas Pajam and stuff, right? So, <laughs> yeah. And then their little cards oh, there. I don't know why. Those are amazing. Right? That is cool. I just like the sound yeah. of that. Yeah. I don't have enough of those. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they have no value, but to me, they are priceless. Oh, exactly. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, here we go into the French now, and here's our French special character, Francois, Francois Lolonnet. Thank you, because I will never ever say that right. <laughs> and then it's we like have our that. generic captain here. He, he's fully uh, so pumped out in his dress, and he looks really good. So they have different levels, different right? Levels, so each yeah. card is a different level different in their levels, points. So zero are... points is your basic, and yeah. then they have three different levels. And yeah, as they work. go up, he gets this lead by example, we and then broadsides. We will do a bat rep. Oh, well, absolutely. Battle report on this. Oh, for sure. Start, probably start on land. So they came with some filibusters, which we have here. Okay. Some buccaneers, which we have represented here, and some marines. Now, there's only four marines, but that's fine. They're great. All good. And next, we have our brethren of the coast. This is your faction of factions. The one that kind of pulls from everybody. We get, again, another generic English buccaneer captain, but I don't see why they couldn't be led by a French captain right. or a Spanish or whatever. Whatever right? you want. This, this flag has no uh, allegiance to any country. Right. I don't it's think. neutrality. And so kind of mercenary we faction. have with us here Forlorn Hope or Les Enfants de Perdu. Mm -hmm. So they could have been... You can use these models as the Forlorn or the Perdus. They, they are the same, but uh, they have different values and different rules. Okay. So they may be a little more expensive, they may... Right. It depends on your flavor. And I think I actually have copies of those models within the other set, so there you go. 
And then we have Freebooters, a couple groups of them. Very nice. It looks like they have muskets. Nice. Uh, let's see, they have sidearms or pistols and they have buccaneer guns. So there you go. I don't even know what a buccaneer gun does, but we will find out. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our buccaneers over here and our marineros. Right. Very good. And they all have their dice accordingly. So as of now, there's these four factions. And these are the only four they have released. <clears throat> right. And they um, will be making some other ones. There was talk about doing uh, some other Portuguese, perhaps. And, oh, neat. And um, yeah, yeah. the actual native people in the South Americas. Right. Because there are units within these factions that use them. So that's pretty cool. And then we have here, we have a couple duplicates of some special characters that oh, you will right. find in the book. Um, this guy here needs to be put together, but that's fine. He's got two pistols, that's amazing. Oh, that's neat. Um, and oh, the, the rapier. For some reason, I really like this guy. I just well, think he's For some reason, you, you were a fencer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> for that reason, I really like that model. I remember I watching know, I... you fence in Halifax. That was entertaining. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what their all the names are. I think this is a Spanish special character for some reason. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm I not 100%. Cool. We'll have to go into the book later on. So that's it, folks. I mean, that's... That's it. That's Blood and Plunders. That's Blood and Plunder. We're going to get it on the table as yep. quick as we can. I mean, we're going to do a little bat rep, but... little reading. Everything's going to be unpainted for now. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, bear with us. Oh, and <laughs> just so that... Your Admiral set gave you over 80 models. Yeah. Well, actually, probably 90. I didn't count the boats in that count, so it'd be like, yeah. it'd be over 90 models. Well, if you get into these here, too, I mean, we're talking, oh. <laughs> there's model right. cannons in here and anchors, and yeah. there's a slew there's of a things of... that need to be put together, cleaned up, primed. And this is it. available for pre-order now. Yes, all this stuff, yes. So Firelock it... Games, check them out. Yeah, Blood Firelock and Games, Blood and Plunder. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a blast. See you out there. See ya. <laughs> exactly. Cheers.